fly this way, Dad. Didn't you have the guts to face me yourself? I want nothing more to do with you. Only C.C. Capwell would disinherit his son by certified mail. The will stands. You're out of this family, Mason. You're out of my life. Oh, and the great Capwell giveth, and he taketh away. I want you to leave this house. What, you want me to leave with only the shirt on my back? No, take whatever belongs to you and then clear out. I can't stand the sight of you anymore. You know what you can't stand, Dad? It's seeing yourself in me. I don't know who you are anymore. You're sicken me. Oh, now that is funny. I sicken you, and I spent my entire life trying to be you. You're no more like me. Now get out of my way, Mason. It's easier to hate me than hate yourself, isn't it? That way, you don't have to look at what you've become. I have nothing in my life to be ashamed of, except you. No, that's because I always did your dirty work for you. I was your henchman, so you could keep your hands and your conscience clean. Oh, you're mad. Oh, you wanted Joe Perkins put away, so I went after him, he went to prison. Then when you wanted him back in, I had the cocaine planted on his motorcycle. Oh, wait a minute, I didn't tell you to do uh, that. Uh, you, know, you, you wanted the Lockridge property, so I got that for you. I don't blame you. For, for hating me, Dad. I hate the part of me that's like you, too. I wish I could tear it out. You are not going to use me as an excuse for your rottenness. I wish I could tear out the part of you that betrays its own flesh and blood, puts more faith in scum like Peter Flint you than in your own son. You dare talk about faith? I don't know why I should be surprised. No, you betrayed me your whole life, just the way you betrayed my mother. I'm warning you, Mason. Warning me? <laughs> what, what else can you do to me, Dad? You've already cut me out of your will. You stopped loving me, not that you ever really did. I got nothing else to lose. Even in death, Channing's got more of a hold on you than I ever did. Is so that why you killed him? Out of jealousy? Is that why you murdered my son? Yes, I was jealous of him. How could I not be? He had everything I wanted. He had your love. He deserved my love. He was a kind, wonderful boy. Oh, the beloved son of a beloved woman. That's right. Sophia's firstborn. He was everything that we'd ever dreamed of. He was kind, he was gentle, generous, good. A perfect creature, a god on earth. Yes. No! Channing was cunning and clever and manipulative. He used people, he played them off against each other. Shut up! He used you, Dad, he never loved you. Damn you, I could... Could what? Kill me? Get out, get out of here. You remember the tape you got on your birthday? What? With my voice on it? Yeah, you remember. I convinced you that it wasn't my voice. But it was, Dad. Those are my words spoken from my heart. Remember? I said that you rule with velvet-covered brass knuckles, that you use power to cover your own deficiencies, that you think you're God, but you're more comparable to Adolf Hitler or Ivan the Terrible. You were a monster. I meant every word of it. I wasn't just describing you. I was describing Channing. 